Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on a project for a friend. Uh, I, lately I've been going to a foundry sandcasting group class and I've met a, a bunch of uh, great guys. They've been uh, sandcasting for, for decades and they're teaching me how to do it at their foundry. And I, and I met a guy named Bob, uh, ironically enough, who brought this in, this door pull, and he wanted to cast it. Uh, so I, I, uh, I asked him if he'd let me take it home and let me see if I could forge it. So it's made out of a uh, half inch square bar. And uh, you know, it took a while for me to, to think about how to go about uh, forging something like this. Now, uh, technique wise, I think I understand how, it, how, how to do it, but doing it is uh, much more difficult for me since I'm a novice blacksmith. So again, this isn't, uh, this isn't a how-to blacksmith video. This is how I'm going to try and make this work. So yesterday I did an experiment off camera and I forged. This is my first attempt at that uh, door pull. And it's a little, it's a little small. It's a little, little shorter in profile than the one he gave me and not quite as long, but pretty close. Um, I, I struggled with uh, tapering this down and knowing how much material to 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 make these whatever these are called where you screw it into the wall so after experimenting yesterday I think I've got a plan and I've, I've laid it all out on the on this uh, piece of stock and uh, let me explain how, how I'm going to try and do this okay so I'm starting out with seven inches of material. I think that's about 13 and a half millimeters if you're metric. And I've placed center punch marks for each area that I want to forge. So I've given, my, given myself three quarters of an inch to make this piece. And again, three quarter of a, quarters of an inch over here for the other. I've given myself three inches for this center twist and then I've given myself an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter here and here to draw out this piece. Now I don't know if that's going to be enough. Um, this tapers down from from full thickness down to about a quarter of an inch, so it tapers down to roughly half of the thickness of the parent stock. And the distance between here and here, where it starts to twist, is roughly. Uh, two and a half inches. So the, it's just a guess on my part. Uh, two and a half divided by two is one and a quarter. So I'm going to start with one and a quarter and test it out this way con in a controlled manner to see how it turns out. And then based off of today, I think I'll know how to replicate this form. So the, I guess a story behind this door pole, he and his wife were at some kind of uh, fair. Uh, one of those old town fairs nearby and they had a, a, a blacksmith who was doing demonstrations and the blacksmith, blacksmith made one of these and they bought it. Um, so it is, uh, I'm sure it's very difficult to make, to try and make a matching set from a piece that someone else made, but I think I can do it. Uh, again, uh, for, for a first try, that's not too bad. So, let's get to work. Thank you. 
Okay, here's the finished product. It is super hot, just got it out of the vise. I had to, to uh, straighten it up just a little bit, but it worked out well. So here's the one I made yesterday. Uh, you can tell, or maybe you can or not, it's not as tall, not as long. Uh, and then this is the one I was trying to mirror. And um, pretty close, pretty good. So I think that uh, that's about as good as I can do. I, I shouldn't expect any more. And you know what I just noticed? <laughs> the twists are opposite. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. I suppose. I suppose that's kind of cool for a matching set. Twists one way, twists the other. Whoops! I didn't even notice that until until now. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue working. I'm gonna let you guys go, but I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, probably treat them. Treat them all with uh, Johnson's Paste Wax or boiled linseed oil so they all look the same. And I hope, Bob, that you like your somewhat matching door pull. Cheers.